Welcome to the online information session for our limited entry programs here at Allied Health Occupations. This short video will give you an overview of our programs, the required skills and courses you'll need, as well as look at the application process. Allied Health Occupations offers seven limited entry programs. DAs assist dentists by preparing patients for treatment, passing instruments during procedure, holding suction devices, exposing dental radiographs, taking impressions, fabricating provisional grounds, and more. MAAs are integral members of the medical office communication team, helping to maintain efficiency. They answer phones, greet patients, triage appointments, fill out insurance forms, work with patient records, and more. MAs assist doctors in patient care, examination, and documentation. Some duties include taking vitals, ECG testing, scheduling, patient flow, triage, front office, and more. Coders work in various healthcare settings utilizing medical classification software to assign procedure and diagnosis codes for insurance billing. PRXs assist pharmacists with duties that impact patient care. Duties include filling prescriptions, mixing, measuring, counting, and recording prescribed quantities and dosage levels. Phlebotomists work in hospitals, clinics, and other medical facilities drawing blood from patients in preparation for medical testing. SPTs play a vital role in patient safety and infection control. They operate sterilizing equipment, autoclave, check, assemble, and adjust all medical tools for surgery. Each program has prerequisite courses that you are required to take prior to entry into the program. These courses must be completed successfully before you can start the program's specific courses. For example, medical assistants need to take RD90, Writing 115 or BT113, CS120, Math60 or Math63, and HE252 before taking any medical assistant courses. The link below this video will show you the required courses for each program. Applications are required for all limited entry programs. Here's what you'll need before you begin. Admitted Rogue Community College student. Successful completion of prerequisites prior to program start date. For example, if you wanted to start the program in fall term, you would need to complete any outstanding prereqs by the end of summer term. View an Allied Health Occupations Program Information Session for application submission codes. Written short answer responses on previous healthcare experience, industry observation, and personal statement. Two letters of recommendation. Complete and submitted application. After the application is complete and submitted, the Allied Health Occupations Department will review it and you will be contacted regarding your eligibility and next steps. Applications are evaluated on completeness, quality of answers, and submitted materials. Top scoring applicants will be invited to an interview. Finalists will be notified via email. All limited entry Allied Health programs are taught using the cohort model. This means you will progress through each class and each term with the same group of students. This cohort model allows you to create relationships which will last beyond your program and will assist you in your career development and professional advancement. The Allied Health Department at Rogue Community College will adhere to approved criminal background standards in reviewing students for acceptance into any program offered through our department. Background checks include the following. Students are responsible for the cost of background checks. Students whose background check is returned with an alert indicating a disqualifying crime will be refused entrance or removed from the program. A student whose background check is returned with a potentially disqualifying crime in the 7 and 10 year review section will have their history reviewed and the Allied Health Department Chair will determine program participation. 
To review the full list of permanent or potentially disqualifying crimes, click the link below this video. Proof of immunization is necessary for any of our programs that require practicum placement in a healthcare setting. These are to be verified through a personal Castle Branch account through castlebranch.com. Your Castle Branch account must be completed and the student compliant with all requirements during the first term. This will also become an electronic record for you to provide immunization records to future employers. Our programs are short-term and intense. Students can expect to put their lives on hold while they complete their certificates. While some of our classes are available online, many of our hands-on labs are in the early afternoon and run through the late evening. MAs, SPTs, DAs, and phlebotomy students are also placed in local clinics and must complete practicum hours. This can range from 132 hours to 396 hours in a single term. This can make it difficult for students to maintain employment outside of the program. Access to childcare, computer, and internet access, and reliable transportation are also factors that can get in the way of student success. So please consider these issues carefully before you apply for the program. Here is the code you'll need to provide during the online application process. Entering this code lets us know you have viewed this information and are aware of the conditions and expectations of these programs. Once you have submitted your application and the application has been reviewed, you will be contacted for next steps. Good luck!